Nikon just had one of the biggest leaks in recent camera history. Three years ago, the Z9 forced Canon and Sony to completely rethink their flagship strategies. Now, leaked slides and insider sources are revealing something potentially even more disruptive. We're talking technology that wasn't supposed to exist at this price point, speeds that seemed impossible months ago, and features professionals have desperately requested since day one. Let's talk timeline first because this is happening sooner than you think. Multiple sources are pointing to a late 2025 announcement, most likely in November, with cameras shipping in the first quarter of 2026. And here's the kicker. Nikon wants this in photographers' hands before the February 2026 Winter Olympics. That's the battleground where Canon, Sony, and Nikon fight for professional credibility. Now, the sensor situation is where things get really interesting. We're looking at a stacked CMOS sensor around 45 megapixels, similar to the current Z9, but with a significantly faster readout speed. There's heavy speculation about hybrid electronic shutter technology that could potentially incorporate global shutter capabilities. Some leaks even suggest a full global shutter implementation, which would eliminate rolling shutter distortion completely. The processor upgrade is massive, the Z9 II is expected to run on the new X-Speed 8 processor, though some sources mention a possible dual X-Speed 7 configuration instead. Either way, we're talking about enormous improvements in autofocus algorithms, 3D object tracking, burst shooting speeds, and video recording capabilities. Speaking of burst speeds, hold onto your memory cards because the Z9 II is rumored to shoot at minimum 40 frames per second in full 14-bit RAW with absolutely no compromises. No buffer limitations, no crop modes, just pure high-speed performance. But here's the feature everyone's been begging for, RAW pre-capture. The autofocus system is getting a serious upgrade too. Beyond the usual improved subject detection and tracking, there's talk about cross-type autofocus sensors being integrated directly into the stacked sensor architecture. This would dramatically improve what professionals call autofocus stickiness. Video shooters, you're not being left behind. With Nikon's acquisition of RED, the Z9 II is expected to incorporate RED video features and color science. We're hearing rumors of 8K recording at 120 frames per second internal 10-bit 4K at 240 frames per second for silky smooth slow motion and improved heat dissipation for extended recording sessions. This camera is targeting not just professional photographers, but also high-end video production crews. The electronic viewfinder is getting an upgrade to the same 5.7 million dot display found in the Z63, and the camera will support CF Express 4 memory cards for those insane data transfer speeds you'll need when shooting 40 frames per second. Battery life is also improved thanks to a new battery that maintains the same physical size but delivers more power to feed that hungry processor. Now let's talk money. The Z9 II is expected to launch around $5,999, up from the original Z9's launch price of $5,499. This positions it directly against the Canon EOS R1 and Sony A12. Nikon is clearly targeting the absolute top tier of the professional market. Here's the reality check, though. Sources are comparing this update to the incremental jump from the Nikon D5 to the D6. This isn't a revolutionary redesign. This is an evolutionary upgrade that takes everything great about the Z9 and makes it better, faster, and more powerful. For current Z9 owners, it might not be a must-have upgrade. But for anyone looking to invest in a flagship camera system in 2026, the Z9 II is going to be an absolute beast that deserves serious consideration.